um, a story. I told the boy once there was a bird, and he said, what is a bird? I told the boy, there was this tree, and he said, what is a tree? The mother was in the corner of the cell, rolled into a ball, but the boy looked on. He seemed healthy, his face was clean, his hair trimmed. That day, the guard took me out of my cell, brought me to them and said, tell this boy a story. He used to beat me whenever I said my name. There was just a number here, he said, striking my face with a hose. Then something made him kinder. He brought me a nail clipper once, every now and then an apple or some grapes. That night, we walked like thieves through the corridors. He didn't want his boss to know. And he opened their cell. So I sang the boy some songs. His young mother looked away, started to convulse. But the boy kept looking at me, not saying a word. I knocked on the bars of their door for the guard to let me out. I can't breathe, I whispered to him. She was a college student when they brought her to jail to punish her father, a dissident who fled the country. They raped her and she had the boy there. He'd never seen the sun, kicked the ball, or felt the wind on his skin. Once out, I told the guard, I can't tell that boy anything. But you're an intellectual, he said. You must try. I could not tell if he was punishing me or trying to save the boy. Then he too disappeared. This is after the mighty spell. Their trawler slurp the fish out of the seas. Their breathing wipes the clouds out of the breeze. They fuck up the world, tell you to stay home. They move their border to the edge of your town, hire your brother and cousin to keep you hemmed in. They fuck up the world, tell you you can never leave. Holes dug where used to be trees, machines policed by thugs, a Mr. Kurtz born every minute, a local with imported degrees. They fuck up the world, tell you better not come near. They send their old clothes, old cars, stay and process food. Bankers like probation officers chain you to the freedom to choose. They fuck up the world, always changing their slimy rules. Like termite eating up metals, grinding up animals in woods. No more ivory, but human bones plentiful, almost free. They fuck up the world, fuck it again until the world sees for good. This is the Whitman. Here it's um, the word your brother is perhaps where our position is. With lines taken from Walt Whitman. The auctioneer in militia fatigues pushes you aside to conduct his business. He has 12 lined up. Of the bonds, fees, threats, and the quintillion beneficiaries, the revolving cycle of birth, poverty, and abuse, truly and steadily rolled, he knows nothing or pretends, or how they ended up in his hands, and whence they go, only his small part in the trade and of the cunning tendons and nerves under the glare of searchlight beams, how will they swim the pool of labor's excess? What building site or garment floor? No time to be stripped, flakes of breast muscle, pliant backbone, good-sized arms and legs, where they had been tasered, slashed, and whipped, that you may see them, nothing or pretends. But witness, you know how the living eyes met, the faces' acumen stripped. Brothers, 
we have no time who says, spare him talk of countless immortal lives in parlors and lecture rooms across rich republics and front tech states. He knows within there runs blood, same old blood, how easily it spills, how evidence is hid and drained. Whatever the bids of the bidders, none of your brothers will exceed a hundred quid. Into the sea. This is the, uh, the tercet guzzle, perhaps. Barely out of the jerry, the boat rises with every wave, and in the back, two or three fall into the sea. At sunset, the boat starts to lose air, fills with water. Mothers and babies fall into the sea. One side stays afloat. We cling to a rope, water up to our bellies, and people fall into the sea. All night we grip and bleed. Rain so cold, waves five stories high. If only I could fall into the sea. Sunrise a helicopter. I find a red shirt, wave it to them. They watch us fall into the sea. They fling a small inflatable boat. I am too weak to reach it. Others try and fall into the sea. A cargo boat throws us a rope. Get us on board, alive at last. But we still fall into the sea. Song for the Balkan Route. A peace in the palm, embers, perfumes, the scent of Abyssinia and Mecca haunt the brain. You remember weddings and feasts. Hail popped the copper dust and you, open-mouthed, gazed at the world. Years have passed since that since. How does the body know how to pin so much of itself in words? Traffic Romano. Don't fear their eyes. They came to you. After all, they paved their way. Or they kill you, give them a chance. You are a key in the dicey maze of their lives. You clamp the cruelest lock. Your breath is as foul as theirs. Sometimes you think you've had enough of this trade and death. So much life, these knots of unsorted dreaming. But the sea is calm again. Bats circle the tangerine grove, riding the sultry breeze. Time to send another boat, perhaps. What's her name? Constance or Blessing? The one paying her fare in bed. She'll be here when you return. Baluk's Casida. Ah, Lampedusa. Only a dozen leagues now, the bay between it and Sousse, a corridor of debris, a Phoenician graveyard. Are we prepared for the storm's paradise? The starlings recite the zodiac on their wings. The mara boots must in kindness abide. On the wireless, the noises of rescue, the double dealing of virtue and abuse, into a theater of salvation we ride. We are exalted into some hippopotamus, our mouths checked, hands gloved within human skin, their fingers inside. The mouths that speak are covered like Tuaregs, their eyes swathed with a dusky mirage, our names taken, flicker like fireflies. Looped around our wrists numbers, that look like a kind of price, the bullhorns cry, the seagulls deride. On the bridge to the slippery world, we're wrapped in gold foil, woozy, often diseased. But who is saving whom? The question is not stated, only implied. Okay. 
South Border Volunteer. Dear world, who am I to condemn you? Dear eyes, who am I to blind you? Dear lies, who am I to chastise you? Dear hypocrisy, who am I to claim not to know you? Dear indignance, who am I to possess you? Dear ignorance, who am I to float above you? Dear soul, who am I to shun you? Dear soul, who am I to shelter you? Dear soul, how am I to repair you? Okay. Thank you very much.